Hi. Let's learn about finance. Finance is a term for matters regarding the management, creation, and study of money and investments. Finance involves the use of credit and debt, securities, and investment to finance current projects using future income flows. Because of this temporal aspect, finance is closely linked to the time value of money, interest rates, and other related topics. Finance can be broadly divided into three categories, which include public finance, corporate finance, and personal finance. Finance is typically broken down into three broad categories, public finance, corporate finance, and personal finance. Public finance includes tax systems, government expenditures, budget procedures, stabilization policy and instruments, debt issues, and other government concerns. Corporate finance involves managing assets, liabilities, revenues, and debts for a business. Personal finance defines all financial decisions and activities of an individual or household, including budgeting, insurance, mortgage planning, savings, and retirement planning. Some key finance terms you should be familiar with include assets, liabilities, balance sheet, cash flow, compound interest, equity, liquidity, and profit. The study of finance as a distinct field from economics arose in the 1940s and 1950s. Financial transactions have been around since the dawn of civilization in some form, as seen in the Babylonian Code of Hammurabi. Coins, bonds, and options date back thousands of years in history. Belgium is home to the first exchange dating back to 1531, and the East India Company became the first publicly traded company in the 16th century. The earliest recorded bond dates back to 2400 BCE, with options contracts found even in the Bible. Compound interest and accounting concepts have been known since ancient times. The first comprehensive treatise on bookkeeping and accountancy was published in Venice in 1494. Interest calculations were combined with survival rates to create the first life annuities in the 17th century. The federal government secures funding mostly through taxation, borrowing, and earning dividends from its companies. State and local governments also receive grants and aid from the federal government. Businesses can obtain financing through equity investments, credit arrangements, and other means. Acquiring and managing debt properly can help a company expand and become more profitable. Startups may receive capital from angel investors or venture capitalists. Personal finance involves analyzing an individual's or a family's current financial position, predicting short-term and long-term needs, and executing a plan to fulfill those needs within individual financial constraints. Personal finance depends largely on one's earnings, living requirements, and individual goals and desires. Social finance refers to investments made in social enterprises and microfinance to benefit local societies and economies. Social impact bonds also act as a contract with the public sector to achieve certain social outcomes. Behavioral finance proposes psychology-based theories to explain financial anomalies, such as severe rises or falls in stock price. It assumes that information structures and characteristics of market participants systematically influence individuals' investment decisions and market outcomes. Economics focuses on public policy and market performance, while finance is more individual, company or industry-specific. Microeconomics explains what to expect if certain conditions change on the industry, firm, or individual level. Both economics and finance are important and have valid applications. Finance has strong roots in scientific areas like statistics and mathematics, and many modern financial theories resemble scientific or mathematical formulas. While modern financial theories draw heavily on the laws of statistics and mathematics, history is rife with examples that seem to contradict the notion that finance behaves according to rational scientific laws. 
Financial markets are not entirely efficient and are influenced by human emotions and events which cannot be predicted. Career options in finance include accountants, auditors, bankers, capital managers, lenders, and market analysts. Each involves different aspects of financial management. Finance involves borrowing and lending, investing, raising capital, and selling and trading securities. The purpose of these pursuits is to allow companies and individuals to fund certain activities or projects today, to be repaid in the future based on income streams generated from those activities. Accounting is one aspect of finance that tracks day-to-day -day cash flows, expenses, and income. Accounting tasks include bookkeeping, tax preparation, and auditing. In conclusion, finance involves the practice of managing money, getting, spending, and everything in between, from borrowing to investing. Finance also refers to the tools and instruments people use in relation to money, and the systems and institutions through which activities occur. Without finance, very little could function, neither an individual household, nor a corporation, nor a society. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Finance is a term broadly describing the study and system of money, investments, and other financial instruments. 2. Finance can be divided broadly into three distinct categories, public finance, corporate finance, and personal finance. 3. Recent subcategories of finance include social finance and behavioral finance. 4. The history of finance and financial activities dates back to the dawn of civilization. 5. While finance has roots in scientific fields like economics and mathematics, it also includes non-scientific elements that liken it to an art. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.